Sounds horrendous, you know. <laughs> um, you know, historically, this has pretty much been in Ness's favor, I would say, right? Yeah, I, I, I agree. And it looks like uh, we're going right into it. No, no buttons or anything. Yeah, yeah, he's going right into it. Yeah, both both these characters can throw out a bunch of uh, hitboxes like really fast, usually trying to get their combo starters. And um, we already see Fox getting off their combo starters fairly quickly. Yeah, I'd say this is a particularly volatile matchup. Uh, I mean, I think, honestly, most matchups with Fox can be pretty volatile. He can just die like that. <laughs> he can die like that, and you can see it. You can see, I could have felt the eye roll from SPT without even looking at his player camp. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's what Ness could do to Fox. Like, Fox is a character who gets edge guarded a lot, but um, against Ness, it's almost kind of free with that down smash at large. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ness, the, Ness gets that with quite a few characters. Oh, I like the the faint there. Uh, waiting to see SPT coming out of the PK fire with the shield. Why does Detailt do like 20, 25 damage? Um, uh, if like if they don't DI away or like SD, you could uh, like SDI away if yeah. I'm if I'm not wrong. But um, yeah, up smash and blitz, getting out to a very fast start. And you know that's the thing about Fox, right? Fox is a volatile character, and in order for him to get his offense started. He needs to assert some pressure, and oh. SPT has not been able to assert pressure, and... Unteckable with um, a quick three-stock game one. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, SPT kind of ran in there with a game plan and just trying to, like, overwhelm Ness, but the thing is, uh, Ness has bigger buttons. So, <laughs> <laughs> just... Uh, and didn't work out in his favor. Mm -hmm. Oof, I wonder if we're going to see a character switch up. No, um, word on the street is that um, SPT has a, a secondary OG main that he used to play. Okay. Um, might pull out the Game and Watch. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, it used to be a, it used to be a Smash for Game and Watch until he picked Fox in Smash Four because Fox was like a top three character in that game. Right. And then he just stuck with Fox. But I wonder if he, we're gonna see the Game and Watch counter pick right now. Maybe. Yeah. There we mm -hmm. go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I know the idea is just um, turn off your brain and up B, or just like not want to think about it and just gotta get out of a get out of disadvantage pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do with this character. Yeah, definitely, pro definitely gonna be seeing a lot more of those uh, disjoints trying to actually wall out Ness because Ness has good buttons, but so does Game and Watch. Yeah, and one of the things he was having trouble with is opening up Ness and like just getting out of disadvantage because it always seemed like he got hit once and he had he could not get it out of disadvantage for like a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. But with the Game of Watch, you could up be out of shield and reset neutral, right? Even yep. if even if it is safe on shield. Yep, and that's stop. And already a much better start than we seen in game one. Yeah, and an another thing that uh, Game and Watch is gonna have over. Fox is the recovery, which we've already seen. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been able to hit ledge at least now. Yeah, and you know what? We actually haven't seen SBT off ledge that much, right? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like they've always maintained center stage. And that was a good um, anti-air by Bliss Luigi with the up air. But I, I do really feel like SBT has a much better feel on this match and just how to control center stage a lot better than we did before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like you know, what do you, what do you think Blitz Blitz can like do to get in <laughs> a lot easier against Game and Watch? Uh, against Game and Watch? Yeah. That is a mystery I have yet to solve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause I'm just, I'm looking at this matchup, but I, I'm seeing Blitz throw out a lot of these PK fires, and um, you know, SP kind of doesn't really care, right? We, we're seeing a couple good nairs, but I feel like SP is playing the keep away game very well right now. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he was able to get that back air out after the uh, shielded up smash. Yeah. Ooh, and that up smash almost taking it. Yeah, Game Watch is a light character, even though he doesn't have to think. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're actually... Oh, never mind. I was going to say we were seeing Blitz in a small lead, but my bad. Yeah, I have to say that the strength on that forward smash is disgusting. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, all right. Yeah. Getting a little charge on that up smash. Yeah, and, um, you know, Blitz um, reading that down or that SP has been doing pretty much um, exclusively back to the ground. I've um, got yeah. that read now, even game. And, I mean, I don't blame SPT because that down air is such a good move. It's so difficult to punish, uh, but having that disjointed hitbox with the up the up smash. Yeah. And, you know, one thing I've noticed that even though SP has, been have, has gotten a better foothold on this matchup, I, I do feel that, like, 
He hasn't been doing DIing the PK fires very well at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now how is Blitz gonna land with a back air? And let's see if ST can get back to stage. It's gonna be very important. Don't do standard get up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and this is this is really this is really intense right now. SD can actually get grabbed right now and just explode, so yep. that's something he has to look out for. You know what? I know that Game and Watch is like two pounds, but that was like pretty Bermuda Triangle-ish DI. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. I, I I think I don't think he expected to grab. I think he tried to run away. And I, I, I really don't think he expected to get grabbed like that. He kind of got snatched up. Yeah, let's see it here. Yeah, like, I feel like he wanted to dash forward and do something. He got grabbed and back thrown immediately. Like, there's no pummel or anything. Yeah. So what are you going to do about that? But, um...